All right, if you're looking at adding a lab to your family, we have two good examples of uh, a lab here. We have a silver lab, basically a diluted charcoal. She's uh, about two years old, Dolly. And then we have a black lab, Sabre, that's uh, just a couple months, two months younger than uh, Dolly. Sabre is actually an American pointing lab, so you might notice a little more energy in the videos from Sabre that you're gonna see from Dolly. But they're great specimens of, of labs in that super treat motivated. But what you're also gonna notice in the video is Sabre's definitely more toy motivated. Super high toy prey drive. Dolly is what I would consider your average Labrador retriever. It's all about the food. Uh, they love food. They're great dogs to train. They're great family dogs. If you do get a pointing lab mix, um, just know you're gonna have a lot more energy involved. Dolly would be your kind of standard uh, level of energy lab. And then you have the English lab that's a lot less energy. Uh, they're a little more go with the flow type. But if you do get a Labrador Retriever, you wanna know where the parents are coming from. Are they a hunting line? If they're a hunting line, they probably are going to be a little more along the lines of Sabre with a little more energy. Sabre, no, place, good girl, sit, down, good. And we trained Sabre about a year ago. She's boarding with us over the weekend while her uh, family uh, travels. And same with Dolly about a year ago. So uh, they're both about two, trained them about a year ago. So this is where they're at a year after post training, so to speak. Uh, labs are great with kids, typically great with other dogs. Um, they're just easy dogs to train. They're easy dogs to have in your house. Um, they're super treat motivated, which makes uh, motivating them easier. But you'll notice in some of the videos that Dolly, if she gets dis uh, distracted by the potential of a treat, you're, you're gonna see her go into search mode. She's more about the treats than a toy, and most labs are. The other thing I wanna cover is, the, since you see the difference between their energy, a higher energy dog is gonna require just a little bit more engagement with you and you, your dog engaged with you. She might drift off the cot once in a while. Could be a little bit of that uh, homework at home. Uh, but it also, she just gets bored a little easier and she just has some energy. She's always gotta burn off. Dolly can settle in for a longer period of time for that stability and the command. Uh, your higher energy lab uh, working line or the pointing line or just a normal Labrador retriever that's a little more energetic than normal, you're going you're gonna to require to be a little more engaged with them to keep them on point, help them make the right choices, good stay, good stay, and just remind them what they're supposed to be doing. Another thing you want to consider with a Labrador retriever is they immature a little slower than some other dogs. They're kind of like a perpetual puppy a bit until about a year and a half, sometimes two years old. They're very an immature dog for a little bit longer than other dogs. Kind of remind me of, of a Malinois in that respect. Uh, but boy, once they hit that two year mark and they they just really settle in really well, it's always a, a better example of that. Not as a lab perspective, but because we have the pointing perspective with uh, pointer and uh, saber, you're gonna see that good stay. You're gonna see that increase in energy. So once again, if you're looking at getting a Labrador Retriever, uh, good things to ask a breeder, it would be your uh, their lines. Are they a working dog line? You're gonna have a, a bit more energy on that side of the line. Or are they a pet dog line? You're gonna have a little calmer demeanor on that side of the, the lines. If you're rescuing uh, a pup, whether it be a lab or any dog, meet the dog, try to take them for a walk. Get a feel for what their energy is because when you're in the shelter, you don't always get to see their whole energy. It's great if they'll allow you to just take them home for a day and you know uh, see if that's a good fit for you and your family. So there's not a, a false a false adoption there. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next video.